Suleyman al-Bassam, writer and director of theatre. It is rare in the life of nations. It is rare in the life of cultural practitioners. Certainly rare in my life to have come across someone of the stature and charisma of Sheikh Nasr Sabah al Ahmed al Sabah. May he rest in peace. Sheikh Nasr is this amazing combination of curiosity, energy, desire, thirst for knowledge that combined to make him a truly exceptional individual. His curiosity, his love of art, beauty, led him along with his wife, Sheikh Hassa Sabah Salim Sabah, to create one of the most exceptional collections of Islamic and pre-Islamic art existent in the world today, the Sabah collection. This same curiosity, I do believe, and love of civilizational history, cultures, and the excitement that he derived intellectually from the wonderful depth and um, importance of the civilizational history, particularly linked to this region, led him beyond um, the creation of a very significant art collection. And I think informed his thought in a very profound way and led him, in fact, to propose ideas that others would regard as only dreams. Some of these ideas linked to the ancient Silk Route, linked to the proximity of the Islamic civilization with borders as far as China and Europe, led him to perceive the possibilities that this civilizational history might open up as horizons in our contemporary world. And from there to propose a whole series of projects that situate Kuwait as part of a network of influences, histories, languages, peoples, and to reposition Kuwait as a player in that wonderful fabric of the civilizations that surround us. This vision was also informed by a deep sense of love for his, our country, a deep sense of patriotism. And all of the above was combined in a human being whose spontaneity and um, overpowering love of life was really very infectious and had a wonderful impact on all of those that, that had the honor and pleasure of, of knowing him. I count myself, uh, again, I count myself amongst those that had that honor and pleasure of knowing Sheikh Nasr Sabah al Ahmed, and I count myself lucky and deeply privileged for that. Sheikh Nasr, through some of the aspects of his character and his passions that I've described, tried to describe, also became, I think, a very important symbol of what might be possible. A symbol whose presence and potency lives beyond his own life and 
remains as a promise and a quest out there in the intellectual sphere, in the artistic sphere, in the cultural sphere, and in the political sphere, a promise and a quest that others will follow up. His absence is deeply mourned, and yet he is amongst us.